So kind of walk me through um, your CREZ experience. And, and for folks that don't know, um, here in the state of Texas, you know, ERCOT did something that was pretty kind of revolutionary at the time, which was to figure out uh, how to get all of this really good wind area in West Texas, where, you know, no offense to the folks from Odessa or Midland, but not a lot of people <laughs> live there. Um, and you're trying to get all of that renewable energy, potential renewable energy power back to population centers. And um, so the state set up these um, competitive renewable energy zones that uh, both incumbent utilities like AEP and others um, got an opportunity to basically bid and and talk about building transmission lines. Mm-hmm. Kind of walk me through that experience and your involvement there. Uh, it was, it was <clears throat> really probably one of the most challenging projects I've, I've ever been a part of, right? I'd, you know, originally we were talking about maybe even contracting it out. And I said, you know, Stan, we, we don't want to do that. I mean, never are we going to have an opportunity to do this again. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, get, let's get a bunch of people involved and we'll get it done. And so I got to be lead engineer on that. Um, as I said, there were lots of problems. We had to make lots of early decisions because of the, the pressure, you know, political pressure to be done on time and on budget and all those yeah. kind of things. And so it was a pretty high profile project. Um, but it really taught me a lot about... Um, just the process and getting things done and how important it was to get out ahead of things. Plus, it, as I said, it, 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 it exposed me to a different side of the business that I've really enjoyed and kind of moved over into standards now. 